So based on large clinical trials, we know that the ICD is effective in preventing sudden cardiac death in heart failure patients. However, trials excluded very old patients and patients with lots of comorbidities. Therefore, the effectiveness of ICD is unknown based on the trials. What makes our study different is that we designed the study to account for profound bias that has not been adjusted in the previous studies. So we wanted to know if the survival benefit observed in clinical trials applied to an older population with higher burden of heart failure and comorbidities, specifically when they received ICDs during acute hospitalizations. So I would say this is another uniqueness of our study that we actually addressed the questions about timing of uh, ICD implantation, whether, whether or not this matters in, in terms of benefiting from ICDs. So our study indicated that the elderly patient with high burden of heart failure and comorbidity uh, would not benefit from ICD implantation while they're in the hospital for acute uh, conditions. So the take home is really to consider delaying the decision to implant ICDs until the patients get discharged and reevaluated in the uh, outpatient setting. Our study does not apply to patients who received ICDs as an uh, elective uh, procedure during elective hospitalization or as outpatients. So the more research is needed to assess the real-world effectiveness of uh, elective ICD implantation in this population.